Sport, a service of Post Movie Cable, proudly presents... The 1993 Rose City Tournament Championship Game. Tonight's game is sponsored by Straw Hat Pizza of Santa Rosa. The Santa Rosa batting cages in search of the perfect swing. Farmers Lane Foods with Burger King locations on Mendocino Avenue, Farmers Lane, and Santa Rosa Avenue. North Bay Truck Works, your winning team for truck repair, modification, and painting. We take you to the John Fitzgerald Gymnasium for the start of tonight's Game of the Week. For the John Fitzgerald Gymnasium for the 1993 Rose City Tournament Championship Game. It should be an exciting contest. A rematch of last year's game between the Annaly Tigers and the Cardinal Newman Cardinals. Hello, everyone. I'm Dave Cox, and joining me tonight is Anthony Robinson. Anthony, these teams are really playing reverse roles this year. Last year, Annaly came in very inexperienced. Newman was a veteran squad. They knocked off the Tigers. This year, Annalee's got the experience and the depth, and Newman is a very young team. It should be an interesting matchup. And a lot of seniors, a lot of seniors for Annalee and a lot of experienced players. On the other hand, for Cardinal Newman, a lot of young players. But when you say that, you have to say that with an asterisk because Cardinal Newman's junior varsity team was 26-0 last year, so they have definite experience in what they're doing out here tonight. And, of course, any team would love to have the returning player, such as Enoch Dix, in their lineup. Yeah, and that's that's another asterisk you have to add. You know, you got you you've got some young players who are coming up, but you also have Dix, and Dix, he's you know he's an all star. He's a he's an all he, he he does it all. He's he's a good athlete, and he'll do it all. And he's definitely a man you got to reckon with if you want to beat Cardinal Newman. The one thing about the Cardinals this year, they lack the size that they've had the past couple of years. Annalee would seem to have an advantage with their center and Bennett Davison. He needs to have a big game tonight for the Tigers to come through. Yeah, as, as, as goes Davison, that's the way Annalee's going to go. If Davison can have a good game, then the Tigers will be successful. But if Cardinal Newman can come out and do a good job with him down low, they're going to be in the hunt in this ballgame. Should be an exciting matchup. What kind of pace do you think we'll see out of these two teams tonight? Well, of course, you know Cardinal Newman's going to come out in pressure and play that pressure defense, and it's going to be up to Anley to be able to handle that defense. If they're not up to the task, then they could be in trouble tonight. So that's the story here at the John Fitzgerald Gymnasium. It should be an exciting game. We'll be back with the tip-off in just a moment. If you're into hot rods or customs, the quality muffler work you've been waiting for is now available at Valley Muffler and Exhaust on Piner Road. Come see the finest equipment and the best muffler talent in Northern California. And the area's only lifetime warranty on labor and all mufflers, including Flowmaster. Check out our huge wall of chrome and stainless tips and other accessories. And when you drop off your hot rod at the big new barn on Piner Road, we'll even give you a free courtesy car. At Friedman Brothers, we said we'd be giving you more of what you want. More choices, low prices, and home improvement experts in every department. Have you shopped Friedman Brothers lately? We've got a bold new look, featuring, yes, even more choices, lower prices, and a host of changes you've been asking for. Like our new kitchen and bath design center, featuring the best selection in the North Bay. Giving you what you want. That's Friedman Brothers. Welcome back to Jam Pack John Fitzgerald Gymnasium. They're really packing them in here tonight for this championship game. Should be an exciting contest. They're getting set now to announce tonight's rosters and starting lineups. For the Adelaide Tigers, number 10, Phil Nichols. Number 15, Matt Corder. Number 20, Justin Kilbride. Number 21, Jeff Fitzpatrick. Number 22, Jeff Wallace. 
Number 23, Zach Hagen. Number 25, Steve Wright. Number 30, Ian Fisher. Number 31, Josh Carlson. And number 11, Sean Freitas. And now the starting lineups for the Annalee Tigers. Number 12, Brendan Brown. Number 13, Aaron Brewer. Number 14, Ernesto Aben. Number 24, Gabe Boyd. And number 32, Bennett Davison. The Tigers are coached by Roger Wilson. And now the non-starters for the Cardinal Lumen Cardinals. Number 12, Aaron Brinker. Number 14, Eugene Patterson. Number 20, Matt Flegel. Number 24, Tom Jordan. Number 25, Brian Wright. Number 32, Jacob Bilbro. Number 31, Richard Lewis. Number 35, Peter Vandernacker. And number 23, Tyler Field. And now the starting lineup for the Cardinals. Number 10, Jacques Consolari. Number 21, Mike York. Number 40, Enoch Dix. Number 33, Mark Martin. And number 34, Jason Reno. The Cardinals are coached by Tom Bonfigli and assistant coaches Jerry Bonfigli and Steve Azevedo. So there you have the rosters and starting lineups for the two squads tonight. Always exciting, the Rose City Tournament. There you see Tom Bonfigli, the head coach for Cardinal Lumen, and a team he calls his youngest and most inexperienced team. And it should be interesting to see. We know they always come out and play a good, tough pressure defense. The Antley Tigers are quick. And they should be able to handle it pretty well. This should be an excellent ball game. We talked about the matchup at center tonight with Bennett Davison. And he's going up against, against again, Jason Reno from Cardinal Lumen. Lumen. And he had a good game last night against Novato's center Fowler, who, Flowers, excuse me, who is 6'8". So he's done well against the larger opponent. We'll see if he can do the same tonight against Bennett Davison. Well, the only thing is, is Bennett is just a little tougher than the guy he faced last night. Bennett is more of a, of a post-up slashing type player, type of player who can step out and hit the 15, 17-foot jump shot. Bennett has uh, a little bit more freedom than... than the rest of the Annalee players to where he can go out and take that 15, 17 footer if he can. So if Reno can play him out there as well as inside, then it'll be something positive for Carlin Newman to play off of. Davison had 27 against Petaluma in their victory. Reno had 23 against Novato in the semifinals. Reno is 6'3, Davison 6'7. Yeah, Bennett's capable of taking over a game. Himself. You know, he blocks shots real well. He's chasing his brother's shot blocking record. He blocks shots real well. He jumps real well. The only thing, sometimes he doesn't play real tough, and tonight he has to do that. Cardinal Newman in the white, Annalie in the blue, and we're underway. Cardinals controlling the opening tip off. Martin on the right side finds himself open. Davison rejects his shot out of bounds. Well, that's what I was just talking about. Bennett will go up and, and get your shot if you come to the whole week. Now, the first matchup we need to look at right now is the best defensive player Antley has in Brendan Brown. He's going to be shadowing Enoch Dix for the whole night. Mark Martin up top gets it over to Dix. Dix driving the right side, pulls up from eight. Off the glass, no good. Rebounded by the Tigers in the open floor. Brewer gives it over to Brown, and 
Brad Brown nets the jumper to give the Tigers the lead. Brown is definitely one of the guys who has to step up and play hard tonight. If he can bring his game to the table, look out because Antley could be on the crowd. Reno gets it to Martin at the high post. Martin driving, puts it up, got it. Martin, good looking player, nice shot, and here comes the defense. Anley said that they would try to clear it out and let Brewer bring the ball up himself. So far, they've done a good job handling the basketball. Brewer up top, gets it over to Aubin. Oh, you got to get it to Davidson when he's open like that with a smaller guy on him. You've got to recognize. Shot just misses, but there for his own rebound is Brewer, his second rebound here in the early going. And they flip it back up and will restart the offense. Cardinal Lumen and their man-to-man -man pressure. York tips it out of bounds. It'll stay with the Tigers. Cardinal Lumen will do that all night with the pressure, and they will definitely try to get the ball inside. Here's the starters for the Anley Tigers. Davison with a jumper. Got it. Anley with a two-point lead. Dix from three. Hits nothing, rebounded by Boyd. Boyd gets it ahead quickly to Brewer. Brewer lays it in, draws the foul, count it. Now Aaron Brewer is the type of player that will go hard all the time and will go through a brick wall if you ask him to. And right there you see it as he will go to the hole, strong, not really caring who's in the way. Take a look, Boyd with a good outlet pass and watch Brewer go right to the hole and draw the foul. coming out early fast breaking the basketball doing a good job and so far the matchup coach Wilson was telling me about with with Brendan Brown on Dix he's done a good job on him so far made him rush his shot and shoot an air ball even one time five-point lead for the Tigers Reno offensive foul Davison takes the charge the good. Tigers seem fired up here in the early going. Good, good, good job, help side. Got to be able to rotate over, watch it here. You see him rotate over when he's being stepped right in there, Davidson does, and then the pass back, and it's actually Boyd that takes the charge. Look out here. Dix with a steal going against Davidson. Davidson rejects it out of bounds. Great job on defense by Bennett Davidson, his second block of the night. Two fine athletes there. Dix going to the basket strong, and Davidson stand right with him. Martin misses the inbounds play. Boyd with the rebound. All alone underneath is Aubin. Aubin nets it. 9-2, Annalee with a little bit of full court pressure of their own, and they take it away. Tigers all over the place early here all over the floor and everything. Here you see Dix, who's a senior out there, getting some of these younger players and gathering them around and telling them to calm down. There you see the block by Davidson. Good block that time. Aaron Brinker has checked into the game, a senior for Cardinal Newman. Dix goes up against two Tigers, misses. Davison's there again. Tigers bring it up quickly. Now settle it back. See, one thing there, Auburn's got to attack the basket on that right there. You got, you got some numbers, you got to attack the basket. You got to get it down low. To Conciliary it. tips it away. Brinker in the open court, pulls up, takes a 17-footer, no good off the front rim. Cardinals are ice cold. They save it inbounds. York. Gets it up to Conciliaria, and he'll restart the Cardinals' half-court offense. Hanley looking kind of tired out there. Oh, Dix finds himself free underneath, and he gets his first basket of the night. Yeah, you can look at Dix and tell he knows he's the senior out here, and you're going to have to stop because he's going to continue to go to the hole. Brown, all net, over Brinker. It's 11-4, Tigers. That's Brown's game, coming down, pulling up for the jump shot. He did a good job there. Tigers playing good defense so far against Cardinal Newman. 
Reno left side gets it up to Dix. Dix from three, no good. Rebounded by Brewer. Ahead to Davison, he's fouled by Brinker, and he'll shoot two. Well, that time the Cardinals set a screen on Brown, and the, and the and Anley recognized it, and Bennett came out and got a hand up here. This is Brewer on the fast break, getting the ball up to Davidson, and of course the smaller guy, Davidson's going to take it right to the basket and attack him. Davidson hits the first one. He's got three, an eight-point lead for Anley with 3.58 to go here in the first quarter. Second one, no good, rebounded by Concilieri for the Cardinals. Good defense so far for Annalee. You've got to be impressed with them coming right out and taking it to the Cardinals. They're doing a good job, and they just got to keep it up and sustain and not let Dix get on one of his rolls. There's another steal. Concilieri turns it over. Tigers can go up by 10. Aubin thought about the jumper. Now he does pull up from 12. No good. Tipped in by Brown. He has six. I said it earlier. He's got. If he steps up, if he can step his game up, Anley could be very successful here tonight. And so far, he's done that with six in the first quarter. Dix off a screen. Nice turnaround. Davison got a piece of it. But Reno was there to put it in. There you see that one of the problems with paying so much attention to Dix, if you come out and bring your big man up to help out, then you got nobody rebounding. And we'll definitely have to take care of that. Tipped out of bounds by York, but it goes off Aubin, and the Cardinals will take over. See, this is a good substitution for Anley, and I'll tell you why. Aubin's going to come out of the game. Aubin's going to come out, and as you see the ball right here, go off of Aubin, and he'll come out. Aubin's going to come out of the game, and he puts Matt Quarter in because Matt Quarter is the type of player who will attack the basket. So far, Aubin has not been doing that when he has the ball, and you'll see, you'll see Quarter attack the basket there. Cardinals take Dix out of the game as he looks kind of winded. Martin outside. He's got a good touch from three. This one is short. Rebounded by York. Long offensive rebound. Brinker from three. All net. Big bucket for the Cardinals to pull them within five. But the Tigers, Porter comes right back down and misses the land. Tom Jordan with the rebound for Cardinal Newman. He just checked in for CN. Again, that's why Porter's in the game at, that, at this point because he will attack the basket. He showed you there. Just came up a little short. Jordan, the sophomore, in the lineup here for Cardinal Newman. He has it up top. Gets it over to York. York feeds Martin on the left side. Martin trying to go baseline. Nice pump fake, but Davison recovers for the block. York rebounds. Can't hit it. Davison's there. <laughs> Offensive foul called on Brewer. The officials for tonight's game, Ruben Candelario and Sam Haddad. Candelario with the call right there. And it's not a popular call with the Anneli crowd. Well, I don't know about it. It, it. it did look like there was some contact there. Maybe maybe Brewer stuck out his arm and whisked him around to take a look. I don't know. Carl Newman player didn't look like he had position there, but evidently he must have if Candelario made the call. Candelario is one of the better officials in the North Coast Officials Association. Feed underneath, Reno lays it in. Nice pass for Martin, and the Cardinals pull within three. See, this is why Cardinal Newman is so tough, okay? You, you know, you come out, you get them down, and right away, your, your fans get to cheering, but Coach Bonfili knows his team can come up with big steals. There's one right there, and Anley gets it right back. Porter ends up with the ball after the teams exchange it. Brown shot is short. Reno with the rebound. Now Martin gets it out to Dix. Dix one on one with Porter. Porter tips it away, but loses it out of bounds. No, it's still alive. Martin has it to Reno. His shot's good. He's fouled. The bucket is good. Thought they might call it a travel for a moment. And the Cardinals can now tie the score. A lot of up and down action as we take a look. Here's Dix on the drive. 
quarter, gets his hand on the ball, good defense. He'll chase it out of bounds, save it back in, and Newman will get it and take it to the basket. Still no indication of who the foul is on. Reno completes the three-point play, and just like that, a tie game. Cardinal Newman goes on a 10-0 run. Bilbro checks in now for Reno, and the Cardinals are going to get a chance to set up the full-court pressure. This is where Henley needs to be careful. Bilbro takes it away. Cardinals with a four on three. Brinker pulls up from three. And Allen will take over as it goes out of bounds. Well, Brinker right there should have probably brought that back out and set something up. You don't want to work that hard and get a steal and then come down and take a quick shot like that when nobody's down. Brinker called for the blocking foul. His first personal. Excuse me, that's the second personal on Aaron Brinker. The foul on Aaron Brinker. There you see number 25, Steve Wright, comes into the game for Anley. Steve used to be a student here at Cardinal Newman. As you take a look at that last foul, blocking foul on Breaker, that was a good call. 33 seconds left now in the first quarter, 14-14. Brian Wright has checked in for Cardinal Newman. Boyd, left side, puts up the jumper, got it over Martin. Boy can hit that shot 12, 13 feet from the basket. Two-point lead now for the Tigers. Dix has it on the right side, gets it to Bilbro in the paint. York gets it out to Martin. Martin drives in, throws it up. No good. Tipped away by Boyd at the buzzer. And the first quarter comes to an end. And an exciting first quarter. It was 16-14. Tremendous action so far, Anthony. Everything you could expect it from this championship game. Yeah. Uh, Anley doing a good job of getting the ball up and down the floor. Good job of containing on defense. The only problem that I'm seeing right now is, is Davidson having to jump off the ground so much. And you gotta, you got to realize that Bonfili sooner or later is going to tell his guys to start throwing some pump fakes. Pump fakes in and out of there and get Davidson up and he could possibly get in foul trouble. And Anley can ill afford for him to be in any type of foul trouble tonight as he's definitely going to have to be on the floor for them to be successful. Once again, 50 the, raffle tickets are the lineups the there for Anley, number 12 is not Phil Nichols. 13 is Aaron Brewer, Aubin Boyd, and Davidson. The, the other starter, number 12, was Brendan Brown. Here you take a look at, at first-year coach Roger Wilson. Talked to him before the game, and he expected it to be a defensive-type game. He expected his guys to get up and down the floor with Cardinal Newman as best as possible. The two teams won last night to get to this game. Annalee over Petaluma, 66-57. Cardinal Newman beat Novato, 68-58 in what was... A real good game. Both those games, very exciting. Teams are putting up a lot of points, both schools. See Tom Bonfili looking a little bit concerned right here in the early going. Here's the Annalee game. Davison was the leading scorer for Annalee in their victory over Petaluma. And you can see why Davidson is such a big part of this team. 27 points in the next closest score was 10 points. So you can see why he's a very big part. Dribble drive kicked out shot no good there's Davison with a nice offensive rebound spin move and a basket boy nice move that time by Bennett to go up and get the rebound and then take it right back up real strong so far Davison and Reno dead even with five points each rebound by Boyd after the miss three rebounds for Gabe Quarter misses the three. Boyd with a rebound. Puts it up from 12. Got it. That's the type of player Boyd is. He's like a garbage man. If it's on the floor, he'll go down there and get it. Here you see Steve Wright matching up. Steve Wright is a good defensive player. He really plays you real strong, real pesky type defender. Jordan underneath gets it out. Reno pulls up from 14. No good. There's Boyd with his fifth rebound of the night. Brewer running the floor a little bit, now pulls it out. Davison from 14, no good. Dix with a nice rebound. 
See, when he takes that shot, there's nobody there to rebound. And here's another good matchup defensively with Boyd on Dix. Blocked by Davison. He has four blocks. Dix has been held to just two points thus far. Nice pass inside to Quarter. Quarter muscling his way in. Puts it up no good. Jordan's there with a rebound. Henley will take that, of course. Looked like he might have gotten fouled down there, but no call was made. But that's fine. He still attacks the basket, and that's what you need to happen. Jordan right side. Flips it back up to Reno. Cardinals using Reno up top a little bit, trying to draw Davison out of the paint. Shot. Reno shot definitely altered by Davison, although he didn't get the block. Dix was there with the rebound, but the ball scooted out of bounds, and now we have a foul call. See, here's and it'll go against Matt Quarter. Matt Quarter. See, that's the problem, Dave. The problem is when, when Davidson when Davidson is out defending, there's nobody to rebound. See, you just saw him jump out there, and Dix gets the rebound, and he's fouled by Quarter as he tries to go to the basket. The Tigers need to get someone down low to rebound while Davidson is out. Now they're going to give him a blow here with 6.08 and bring in Jeff Fitzpatrick, the backup center. We're going to have to see if Allen can weather the storm while they get Benson some minutes. Davidson some minutes on the bench. So Dix goes to the line, all empire a year ago, player of the year, average six, close to 16 points a game his junior year. Yeah, he's, he's an exceptional athlete, and it's going to be, I'm interested to see what he's going to do as far as college goes. Is he, he, this guy could be Deion Sanders. He could play baseball one minute or football and dress up and play trap the net. He has not played baseball here in high school, but I remember him from his senior Little League days, and he was an excellent baseball player. Great catcher, had good power as well, so he could have easily played that sport as well, but he's chosen track here as his spring sport at Cardinal Lumen. Official Ruben Candelari called the foul that time on Reno. Tigers close to a 10-second call, need to get it up the floor, and they do. Now you got to attack the basket. Brown feeds it in nicely to Aubin, and Aubin lays it in. Brown with the assist. Seven-point lead for the Tigers. Yeah, that's a good call there. They don't like it. They don't like it, but that is a good call on the reach in there. Aaron Brewer whistled for his second personal foul. 5.46 to go here in the second quarter, 22-15. Annally leading in the 1993 Rose City Championship game. Got to watch Dix here. Now you got, you got Brown back on Dix. Carlin Newman again in no hurry. They're just taking their time. Dix with a three from outside. Dix a little bit off from the outside, adjusting from coming off football just a week ago. Mad scramble for the ball, and it goes off the Tigers. Cardinal Lumen will maintain. Tom Jordan diving to the floor for Cardinal Lumen. Boy, both these teams are really going to the floor, really hustling for the ball. As you take a look here, look at all the bodies. One, two, two bodies already on the floor. There's another body, three, four, and then Aubin goes for it, and another body comes in, and they chase it out of bounds. Excellent play by both teams. 5.20 to go now here in the second quarter. Tigers up by seven. They led by as many as ten in the first quarter before Newman closed it out. York right side flips it back up to Conciliari. Cardinals trying to take the pace away a little bit here. Brown doing a good job of taking away Dixon's Bates line there. Conciliari with a nice move in the paint. Puts it up no good. Bilbro's there with a rebound and he draws the foul. See, this is why this is why Davidson's minutes on the bench can't be too long. They're going to have to get him back in there pretty soon. And as soon as I say that, he's on his way to the scorer's table. He's got to be in there to get those rebounds underneath. But it would help if somebody else would step up and get some of those boards under there. Take a look at the drive and watch the rebound by Bilbro. He goes right back up strong if Fitzpatrick can't do anything but foul him. But they're going to have to get some of those rebounds in there. Jake Bilbro goes to the line now for Cardinal Newman. Got the first one to make it 22-16. Again, take a look. See, Fitzpatrick just can't get in there and box out. Bilbro, he makes both free throws. Bilbro hits the second one. It's 22-17. Under five minutes to go now in the quarter. 
You know, you see one of the good things about Anley against the pressure, a lot of their guys can bring the ball up the floor, and that takes a lot of the pressure off of the point man. Boyd has his pass tipped away. Dix diving for it, and he comes up with the ball. Dix may not be scoring much so far, but he's helped his team defensively to stay in this ball game. Dix has it in the glass, has it tipped away, maintains it, gets it over to Jordan. Jordan with a nice pump fake. Davidson's there with block number five. He's just a, he's blocking a lot of shots, and he's doing a good job of waiting for him to get up in the air. Brown. Eight points for Brendan Brown. Okay, if he can come up big, he's got to come up big. Doing a good job so far. There's a switch by the Tigers on defense. Good job. York open, and he's fouled by Steve Wright just after the shot. But I believe they're going to put York on the line for two. Well, that's the area where Henley can ill afford. You don't want to give Newman three shots at you on the free throw line because they're pretty good free throw shooters. And, and making, making the free throws will give them a chance to set up their press. Take a look at the nice move by Brown to the basket. Reverse layup. Good job slashing to the hole. He, he's done that all, his whole time at Henley. He's been a slashing type player like that. Jork misses the first free throw came in on, as a freshman he played on the JV level Boyd and Brown did that and they and that experience has helped him as they've moved to the varsity level Cardinals four of six from the line now five of seven as York pulls them within six Aubin giving it up quickly now over to Brown almost threw that one away Brown with Martin See, that's a matchup that favors Anley because Martin can't stay with Brown. Ball tipped away. The Tigers take it back, however. Nice job. Boyd has it. Pulls up from 12. All net. Brendan Brown calls that defensive turnover there. Had, oh, good job by Boyd knocking it off of the point guard. Nice job by Boyd coming over to knock it off of the Newman player. Tigers coming out and putting on some full court pressure, giving Newman a little bit of its own medicine, and so far it's working. Aubin has it now after the turnover, an eight point lead for the Tigers with 3.15 to go. Henley now showing a little pain. You take a look there, you saw Boyd knock the ball out of bounds. He's got very quick hands. Bill Bro has it momentarily, tipped out. Off right, Cardinal Newman takes back over. The team's exchanging turnovers now here. Perhaps getting a little bit tired as we approach the end of the half. Yeah, Still I, early season, so they, they probably will get tired towards the end of the half, both this half and the end of the ballgame. Yeah, you're exactly right there, Dave. Coach Wilson wants a timeout. None of his players see it. And Brendan Brown sees it, and they'll finally get it. Timeout and So a 3-0-2 to go here in the first half. Anley has opened up an eight-point lead. We'll take a break ourselves and be back in just a moment. Dear Nancy, thanks for helping to make my special day perfect. Your experience and personal attention were just what I needed. And with your huge selection of wedding and party supplies, I was certain that everything would be just right. Nancy, our family has always known that for birthdays, anniversaries, showers, and get-togethers of all kinds, there's no place like Nancy's Fancies. Your experienced and friendly staff is always ready to offer courteous service and suggestions. Thanks, Nancy. You're the greatest. Others. head coach Roger Wilson and he's got to be pleased with the way his Tigers have come out here and put the pressure on Cardinal Newman. Not many teams can do this to the Cardinals and so far Annalee has really beat them at their own game. Yeah when coach Wilson first you know when he got the job you know he that was one of the first things that he talked about was that he wanted his teams to play hard pressure man to man and tonight they are doing just that as Boyd almost comes up with a steal there. Under three minutes to go now in the half Dix dribbles it up for Cardinal Newman. Dix puts it up. Again, altered by Davison. He may have got a piece of that one. Rebounded by Brown. Martin almost takes it back away. 
and will go off him, and Annalee will maintain possession. You take a look at every replay we have when, when Dix goes to the basket. The Annalee guys are swarming to him, helping out on defense. Long outside shot by Boyd from three. He's got nine. It's 11 point lead for Annalee. Reno's going to check back into the game now for Cardinal Newman. And Bilbro will go out. Tigers again with full court pressure. Relentless. Very quick team. But you got to get back. That's the key. Once it's beaten, you've got to hustle back. And so far, they're doing a good job. You just got to keep it up and sustain. You can't get happy with yourself against Cardinal Newman because you know that they're going to make some type of run at you. Cardinals slowing the pace again. Dix up top. Still has just three points in this first half. Martin has it on the right side. Now Brinker up top. Taken away by Brown. Great job by the Tigers defensively again. Boyd gets it over to Davison. He drives it and loses it out of bounds. Tough break for Anna. Yeah, he wanted to attack the baseline and he changed his mind, wanted to pull up, and he lost the basketball. Tough break there as Matt Corder comes back in replacing Steve Wright, who's done a good job on defense so far. Again, you got to credit Brown with a lot of defense. He's done a good job so far on Dick. Martin driving, pulls up. No good. York diving in, tips it into the hands of Davison. Davison with his fourth rebound of the night, loses it, and it will be Cardinal Newman's ball. Now the coaching staff of the Tigers cannot, I know they don't like the turnovers there. You gotta, you gotta be smart with the basketball. You gotta come down and sustain and know what you're gonna do there. If, if you don't have the break, there's nothing wrong with stopping and bringing it back out and setting it up and killing some of the clock here. Minute 18 to go in the half. Foul called away from the ball. Looks like he's got Candelaria a double foul. With the call, yes. A little bit of pushing and shoving going on underneath. I know the Tiger involved is Ernesto Aubin. And he is going to get the call. And the Cardinal call will go against Mike York. So both players getting personal fouls. Kind of an unusual situation. Possession arrow favors Cardinal Newman, so they'll keep the basketball with 1.13 to go in the half. Interesting here, Coach Wilson puts Jeff Fitzpatrick, the, 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 a bruiser-type player that, who would replace Davidson in the game. Dix with a pull-up, no good. Davidson with a quick outlet pass to Brown. Oh, that's a great pass Patrick, by Fitzpatrick. Back to Brown. No good. Brown tips it up, no good. Again, Brown underneath gets it to Fitzpatrick, and he lays it in. Good job by both kids on that play, because Brown never quit on it. 13-point lead now for the Tigers. Under a minute to go. Reno with a nice rebound over Davison. Puts it up. No good. Partially blocked again by Davison. Fitzpatrick with the rebound. Davidson done a good job of keeping his feet as Boyd hits another three. Boyd with the second three of the half. And it's a 16-point Annalee lead. Under 20 seconds to go. The Cardinals haven't scored in a few minutes. And the Tigers are blowing them out here in the first half. Still early, Dave. Still early. Dick's doing a good job not really forcing it. Brinker with a three. Boy, did the Cardinals need that. As the buzzer sounds, the Cardinals haven't scored in, I think, about three minutes. Brinker hits the three to pull them within 13. But the Tigers have come out and played a ferocious first half, and they are doing it all right right now. They're doing a good job on both ends, and I think really the matchup, the key is the defense that they're playing on Dix, it's superb, and they've got to keep it up. Again, you cannot, you cannot afford to get cocky against Cardinal Newman. you just got to keep doing what you're doing. 34-21 at halftime. We'll be back with some halftime entertainment and the start of the third quarter after this. Each year.
year, two million dogs and cats are stolen from the families that love them and thrown into a nightmare. Our innocent pets become subjects of brutal experiments, live bait for dog fighting rings, breeders for puppy mills. I'm Rue McClanahan. Please protect your pets. Call in defense of animals at 1-800-STOLEN-PET to find out how. Please help stop this nightmare. This is how the guys who make cigarettes want you to see them. And this is how they see you. They figure you're young, so you're dumb, easy to influence. They spend millions trying to grab your attention and push you into smoking. Because once they get you where they want you, they've got you for good. The tobacco industry. If you knew what they thought, you'd think twice. Here we are at halftime. The Cardinal Newman Ursuline cheerleaders are on the floor. Let's sit back and enjoy the show. So the halftime score here, 34-21. We'll take another break and be back with the start of the second half in just a moment. If you're into hot rods or customs, the quality muffler work you've been waiting for is now available at Valley Muffler and Exhaust on Piner Road. Come see the finest equipment and the best muffler talent in Northern California and the area's only lifetime warranty on labor and all mufflers, including Flowmaster. Check out our huge wall of chrome and stainless tips and other accessories. And when you drop off your hot rod at the big new barn on Piner Road, we'll even give you a free courtesy car. Welcome back here. Teams are out of the locker room and ready to start the third quarter. Annalee leading by 13. This would really be a great victory for them to start this season. And in the past couple of years, this game right here has really done a lot to say who's going to be the power in the Redwood Empire. Petaluma winning it a couple of years ago, Cardinal Lumen last year, and right now Annalee up by 13 here in 1993. Yeah, but it don't mean nothing because there's still 16 minutes to go, and I've never seen a Coach Bonfili coach team give up at any time. So, if Anley, this is something that is, is they're going to have to take. Newman is not going to give it to him. Anley will start off with the ball here in the third quarter. Brewer left side. Dix covering him. Nice pass underneath to Brown. Brown turns around. Doesn't get it. Reno there with the rebound. This second of the night for Cardinal Newman. Cardinals will out-rebound at 18-6 in the first half. Now, Anley needs to keep up the defense here and not do anything crazy, any dumb fouls. That is a substantial rebound total there as Dix. Dix starts the second half off with a three. Doubles his point output for the night with one shot. Ten point lead now for the Tigers. Boyd with a three, no good. Martin's there with a rebound for Cardinal Newman. See, this is a, I, I think Anley, Coach Wilson needs to let him know that, that you know, you don't need the three point shots unless they're open, wide open. Don't get complacent with yourself here. Take care of the basketball, run your offense and do what you're supposed to do. Davison pulls it out, now gets it underneath. Nice pass under to Ernesto Aben, and he scores to make it a 12-point lead. Reno trying to get Davison up in the air, doesn't do it, and ends up shooting it over him. Davison very good at not going for those pump fakes. Yeah, in the past he hasn't been, though. He's obviously matured some to be able not to do that. 
Reno takes it away. Long pass to Dix in the open floor. Dix lays it in. Cardinals pull to within eight. On a little bit of a run here to start the second half. Good job by Dix going strong to the basket. Tigers need to go down low to Bennett here. Davison over Reno. He's fouled. The ball goes in and will count. That's where it's got to go, Dave. That's where it's got to go. It's got to go down there, and then that opens up the outside game. Until they stop him down there, I'd push that ball down there every time. Then you see the good pass from Aubin, and Bennett goes right up strong and puts it in. Davison completes the three-point play. Tigers go back up by 11. Well, you can see the look of determination in Dix's face. Davison rejects it. His seventh block. Again, his eighth. Davison for the slam. Oh, my goodness. Right down the middle and a slam. Good pass. Timeout Newman. Do we have our first inductee into the get-up? Oh, club? you better know it. You better know it. We'll, we'll let you know the get-up club on the replay. Get up. 41 28. Here it is again. Look at two hand up strong. Get up, baby. And see, right there, he, he could have hung on to the rim to save himself from that foul there, but he didn't. And that is definitely a get up club member. What a momentum swing. The Cardinals came out and pulled with an eight. Looked like they had a little momentum. Davison rejects two shots in a row, slams at the other end. Right back to ground zero from Cardinal Lumen, back down by 13. Yeah, this is what it, this tournament has been where Bennett has started to come alive. You know, over the summer, over the summer, he's done a great job of getting himself ready to play over the summer. As you take a look at some of his block shots here, here comes Dix. Okay, there's one block. Then they get it back. He waits on the ground. Look at him wait. Go back up. He'll block it again. And here it comes. Oh, my goodness. Good job. And they, and they take Davidson out for just a minute. Maybe he's tired. Giving him a blow. They've seen Coach Wilson. This will be a huge victory for him if, Car if Anley could hold on and pull it off. But, again, it's not over yet. By any stretch of the imagination, with the defense that Carter Newman plays and the three-point shots that they shoot, it's not over yet. 25 to go, third quarter. Cardinals go back on the attack. Nice move by Dix underneath, and a beautiful pass in by York. Dix starting to come to life here, has seven points in the third quarter. Nobody on the weak side that time for, An for Annerley. Too much dribbling right now being done by Auburn. He's got to give that thing up. A little too much dribbling. Nice backdoor cut. Locking foul called on York. He tried to take the charge, but didn't get there in time. This second personal foul. Here you see the leaders in the first half. Boyd had 12 points, five rebounds. Brinker led the Cardinals with six points. Excuse me, Reno actually led them with seven. Brinker had a couple of threes. The officials have stopped the action. They had given the ball to Anley to bring in, and, and Ruben Candelaria saw that the floor wasn't dry. Here you see the team totals in the first half. Turnovers, five and four, fairly close. The big stat that stands out there is the rebounding edge for Anley, 18 to six. Tigers up by 11. Trouble getting the ball inbound. Fitzpatrick doesn't get it in in time. Cardinals, with some pressure defense, create a turnover and can now pull back within single digits. Full court pressure, so you gotta hustle. You gotta hustle back. Right now the Tigers are jogging back and you can't do it. You gotta get back up the floor. Fitzpatrick's got a total front inside on Reno. Dix from three, no good. York hustles for the rebound, puts it on the floor, puts it in, draws the foul, count the basket. Nobody's blocking out. Again, I bet you'll see Davidson pretty soon. Here he comes. Nobody's blocking out down low. You've got to block out underneath. 
Davison immediately checks back into the game. Here's another look. There's a rebound. Looks like the foul was called on Fitzpatrick. York, oh boy, not real sure. York can't complete the three-point play. Brown pulls up from three, no good. Nice offensive rebound for Aubin. Brewer tries to get it inside, taken away by Reno. He's clobbered, no call. Dix now in the open floor. Pulls up from three, no good. Rebounded by Davison. The Tigers need to slow down just a little bit. Brinker takes it away, but loses it himself to Aubin. Davison with a great feed to Fitzpatrick. The big man gives it up for the lay-in. That's a nice pass. Jumping up like he's looking for the jump shot, and Fitzpatrick does a good job of cutting. Tigers back buck by 11. Fitzpatrick diving to the floor. York tips it out of bounds. Still no indication. The ball is going to stay with Cardinal Newman, and they call a foul on Fitzpatrick. Oh, Dave, that is not a good call. That's just not a good call. I'm sorry. Don't want to, you know, we don't we don't like to talk about officials, but that was not a good call. Okay, that ball was tipped away by Fitzpatrick, and it went out of bounds off of Carter Newman. It should have went to Annerley. You see Coach Wilson keeping his composure there, doing a good job of that, because that was a bad call. Brinker bring, brings it across the timeline now for Cardinal Newman. Martin looking underneath for Dix, tipped away by the Tigers defensively. They just cannot get the ball down into Dix. They've got nobody sagging in the middle on the weak side, though, and that could be a problem if they try to pass the ball inside. They're doing a good job of keeping it outside, though. Martin loses the ball. Brewer dribbling up and now pulls it back out. Good decision right there. Run some time off the clock. Tigers up by 11. Real smart. Look for Bennett down low. There he is. Davison turns around and buries the jumper. 80% of the time, they need to look for Bennett underneath. The other 20% should be the other guys driving to penetrate to get it to him. 12 points now for Davison. 13-point lead again. Reno with a nice move. Dishes it out to Brinker. Brinker from three. Short off the front rim. Davison tips it back out. Martin from three. Short. Rebounded by Brown. Tigers got away with a foul that time. Nice feed to Reno. Davison's right there, however, and he puts it back in his face. Nine block shots. Aubin pulls up from eight. Got it. Tigers trying to blow this thing open. Newman needs a timeout. And they take it right here. 47-32 with 2.19 to go in the third. Annelie on a roll. We'll be back in just a moment. Friedman Brothers and Glidden Paint know what a fresh coat of new paint can do for your home. They also know that you have important things to do. That's why Friedman Brothers carries Glidden's line of one coat exterior and interior paints, which gives you full coverage in one coat, cutting your painting time in half. Friedman Brothers and Glidden Paint, giving you time to do the important things in life. It's back 47 32 see if the Cardinals timeout has settled them down Dix with a three no good Fitzpatrick's there with the rebound tipped out of bounds by Dix the ball will stay with the Annalee Tigers Tigers doing a good job of running the floor probably should have gave that up just a little sooner there to take a look at at Enoch Dix you know he's gonna play hard all night quarter with a move along the baseline double team and travel And Aaron Brewer has some words for Matt that time. Let him know that we don't need that right now. Just pass the ball around and bring it back out. Bill Bro now in the game for Cardinal Newman. Gets it to Brinker. Brinker pulls up close to a three. Fitzpatrick tips it out of bounds. It'll stay with Cardinal Newman. But Brinker is not shy about that three-point shot. I think he's probably going to be the one that comes out of the game here. Cardinal's really starting to fire away. I think they've given up on trying to get low with Davison down there. Yeah, Bennett's done a good job of patrolling the middle, 
and, and, and as you pointed out, a better job of staying on his feet. Martin misses on the inbounds play. Davison ends up with the ball for the Tigers, brings it down quickly now. Quarter feeding underneath to Brewer. Brewer with a reverse lay-in, and it's a 17-point lead. The Tigers just keep on coming. Newman needs to respond and stop on defense here. Bill Bro in the paint. He's fouled. Davison picked up the call. I believe that's two on Bennett. They see the look at look at the look at Brown. He's right there in front, and I don't see where a foul was there. He said he grabbed him. Watch it. Watch it. Tigers, Tigers got a little confused there. Shot, shot. Dix off the inbounds. Nice move, but he can't get the shot. Bilbro, however, gets an offensive rebound. Great job by Boyd to tie it up. Possession arrow favors the Cardinals. Great hustle by Gabe Boyd. See, Coach Wilson's taking a gamble right now, hoping that his players can rebound for a minute and 14 while Bennett's on the bench. Martin takes the inbounds and buries the three. Martin tipping it. Foul on Brewer. Tough call going against the Tigers. The Cardinals trying to creep back in this. They've made a couple of nice runs at the lead, but each time the Tigers have come back and put together a run of their own. Right now it's a 14-point Annelie lead. Well, it's a big loss right here for Annelie with Brewer coming out of the game. Right now, there's not really an efficient ball handler in there. Brown can handle it, but what... Anley needs to get out, and now Dix, without without Davidson in there, he's going to take over. Dix with an offensive rebound, Adam Askin. He has nine in the quarter, 12 in the game, and it's a 12-point lead for Anley. Under a minute to go in the third. Quarter takes the pass underneath. York ties him up. This time the possession arrow favors Anneli. If I was Anneli, I'd go for one shot here, run the clock down, try to get one good shot. Boyd pulls up over Dix. Doesn't get the roll. Martin's there with the rebound. The Cardinals with plenty of time to get off another shot. That's not real smart, but it's not real smart right there. Martin from NBA three, no good. Follows the shot, but quarters there for the rebound. Under 30 seconds to go now in the third. Tigers will play for one shot. York tips it away, but Boyd recovers it for Annely. Uh, Yorks is one of the uh, tenacious defender. He tries to get after you. Boyd doesn't get the three. Tipped back to Boyd. Boyd puts it up at the buzzer, draws the foul. There is just two seconds left in the quarter, and Boyd will go to the line. The foul on Aaron Brinker. Brinker whistled for the foul, his third personal. Hey, Boyd got away with a, with a nice push there at the top of the key. That's the type of, again, that's the type of ball player he is. He, he also played JV basketball as a freshman. He's been on the varsity ever since he was a sophomore. Does an excellent job of getting garbage baskets when the ball's on the ground. Take There's a look. another look. Take a look there. Now nobody screens him out, so he'll come up with it, and he'll keep playing and try to get that three-point shot as he gets his second free throw to fall. Long shot at the buzzer, no good. The Tigers, with just eight minutes to go, have a 14-point lead. Three quarters of play in the books here in the Rose City Tournament Championship game. We'll turn the page and for the fourth and final quarter after this timeout. The best quick lube in Santa Rosa is Valley Fast Oil and Lube. Here's why. I like to go to Valley Fast Oil and Lube because I don't have a lot of time in my schedule and I don't need an appointment and I can get in and out in about 10 minutes. I always take my kids, they love the free sodas and snacks. No eating around like the others. Being able to go there on Sundays is just perfect for me. And I recommend it to my friends. Valley Fast Oil and Lube, 
Fast, fair, and easy. So three quarters of play have expired here in the 1993 Rose City Tournament. And it has been all annually here so far tonight. But as you mentioned earlier, Cardinal Lumen doesn't give up. And they've done a pretty good job of hanging in there. Although they trail by as many as 16 points in the third quarter, they're still not out of the woods yet. No, no indeed. And uh, the three-point shot you've got to be aware of. And you've got to be aware of the full-court pressure and handle it well and spend some time on offense. That's the key. Dix pulls up from 18, can't get it. Cardinals not shooting a high percentage tonight. Boyd's there with the rebound, his seventh of the night. Okay, now Anley needs to go work the ball, get it inside to Davidson and let him work. Spend some time on offense. Davidson kicks it back out. Brown with a shot, no good. Reno pulls out the rebound. Thought the Cardinals might run the floor a little bit, but they do slow it down. Reno takes it. Davison's there to alter his shot again. Steve Wright, the former Cardinal, with a rebound. Boy, it's be a sweet victory for him if they could pull it off. Look inside. Got to get it down low. Wright, 15, no good. Tipped into the hands of Quarter. Reno with a reject. There's Boyd again. Boyd hustles after the loose ball, drives the lane, and scores. Sixteen point lead, equaling their biggest lead of the night. Dix, long off the back rim. Steve Wright with another rebound. Quarter driving, loses the ball, tips it out of bounds. It'll go to Cardinal Lumen. Well, the, the officials are, are letting them play there, so, you know, really no foul to be had, although it did look like some contact was made. Now, again, Brown needs to belly up on Dix as he seems to be the one who has taken the initiative, but you better know where the other guys are because they're not shy of the three-point shot. Stay in front of your man. Everybody's got to help out. Help side defense is the key in this sequence here. Blocking foul called against Annalise Steve Wright, and that's going to put Concilieri to the line for Cardinal Newman. Foul was on Gabe Boyd. First personal foul, 15 foul. John Cancellari on the line for the Cardinal. Concilieri misses the first one. Cardinals can ill afford to miss their free throws here down the stretch. Well, if you can get a shot of Enoch Dix, he is tired. I mean, he's bent over, pulling down his shorts. He looks like he's kind of tired out here. Conciliari does get the second one. He's making a 15-point game, and Anley throws it away. Well, you can't have that happen because the pressure. Now what the Cardinals are doing is they are face-guarding their men on the pressure instead of turning the face guard the ball. So that's shaking Anley up just a little bit. Dix drives, puts it up, and in. He's going to keep coming at you. You got to, you know, you're going to have to stop him. 14 points now for Enoch Dix, pulling the Cardinals within 13. Brown with a pull up, no good. Rebounded by Brian Wright. Tigers not taking enough time off the clock on offense. Still a lot of time to go. 540. Dix from three. No good. Bilbro with a nice hustle for the offensive rebound. Davison has it for the Tigers. Brown doing a good job of slowing it down here. Run some clock. They're up by 13. Don't need to do anything fancy here. Look down low. Try to get the ball inside to Davidson. Brown looks like he's handling the point guard here while Brewer is on the bench with four fouls. Bilbro tips the pass away and it goes off Boyd. Cardinal Newman gets a break. 
one thing that this big lead for Annalee has done all night is really keep this Cardinal Newman crowd out of the game. They haven't had a whole lot to get loud about. Well, right now, right now they're playing. There you see the ball come in bounds, and, and it's tipped off of Boyd's hand. Right now, Annalee is playing not to lose. They're not playing to win. They're playing not to lose. They're being too complacent with the lead right now. 40 to 53. Annalee in the lead with 5.03 to go. We'll take a break and be back with more action from the John Fitzgerald Gymnasium in just a moment. At Friedman Brothers, we said we'd be giving you more of what you want. More choices, low prices, and home improvement experts in every department. Have you shopped Friedman Brothers lately? We've got a bold new look, featuring, yes, even more choices, lower prices, and a host of changes you've been asking for. Like our new kitchen and bath design center, featuring the best selection in the North Bay, giving you what you want. That's Friedman Brothers. three away from pulling off a Rose City Championship. I believe this would be their first yes. ever Rose City yes. Championship. Never won it. They've never won it. It, it, would, it would definitely be huge for that man right there, Coach Roger Wilson. It would be huge for him. Checking into the game for Cardinal Newman, Rashard Lewis, transfer. New to the Santa Rosa area. He's number 31 for CN. Watch the arm, left. Tigers battling for another loose ball. Just bring it, it out. away. Yes, just bring it out. Take some time off the clock. But look to score. Right along the baseline. Misses badly. Martin's there for the rebound for Cardinal Newman. Brinker pulls up from three. No good. Cardinals just cannot get the threes to go down. And we have a foul call. And it's against Brinker, his fourth. That's a good call there, as Wright had good position, and Brinker, trying to go for the rebound, had no choice but to pull him down from the back. Again, I'm not real, you know, the, it concerns me how Antley's doing on the offensive end as they throw it away again. Tigers with another turnover. Nine in the ball game now for them. These next couple minutes are gonna be critical right here. Dix with a nice baseline move, gets the roll. He is just trying to take this thing over himself. He has 13 in the second half. Lob pass to Davison, but he can't finish it off. Lewis with a nice rebound for the Cardinals. Dix pulls up from three. His shot goes long. Reno battling for the rebound. Boyd ends up with it. His ninth rebound of the night for Annelly. Under four minutes to go now. Aubin along the baseline draws the foul. I believe Brinker may have got him, and I've got five. That is Brinker, and he is going to have to come out. That's his fifth personal foul. Here's another look. Here comes Aubin going to the basket, gets fouled right there on the arm. Coach Wilson has got to be concerned with the way that Anley's handling the ball down the stretch as he's going to get Brewer back in, and maybe that'll help him handle the ball a tad bit better. He's got to be concerned because they're, they're throwing the ball away and Carter Newman is coming down and scoring. And if you're not scoring and the other team's scoring, then they've got to be catching up pretty quick. We'll take a look at Aubin throwing the alley -oop play. There's a good pass. Davidson goes up and gets it, but he just has to reach out too far and can't finish the play. Aubin goes to the line. He has eight points tonight, one rebound. An 11-point lead for Annalee, and he misses the first one. You figure that the Cardinals are going to have to start fouling here within the next minute or so, and if the Tigers can hit these free throws, they've got this game won. And if they can't, then it's going to be a long night. Reno pulls Clock's not the moving. After two misses... Martin with a pass into Reno. Reno feeds Lewis. Lewis can't hit it. Gets his own rebound, and he's fouled from behind by Aubin. 
Rashard Lewis is going to go to the line with a chance to pull the Cardinals under 10 with 3.36 to go. Hey, you take a look at the good pass. Davidson goes up, misses the block. See, nobody's in there rebounding. Look at that. Nobody's in there rebounding for Antley as Auburn comes in and gets the foul. Lewis can't hit the first one. Well, you can ill afford to have Cardinal Newman attempting to score with the clock off. Antley needs to do a better job on offense. Lewis misses both. Davidson's there with a big rebound. Ball goes out of bounds off Lewis. Tigers maintain possession. They're just not taking care of the ball at all. Lewis takes it away. Celieri now driving on Brewer, tries to dump it off. Ball on the floor, Reno diving for it, and he travels. Hanley's going to fool around and make this game much more closer if they can't take care of the ball. Lewis with a nice inbound to York. Davison with the block. He has 10. Fast break at the other end. Brewer over Dix. Lays it in. It's the first basket for Antley in quite some time. Now I need to come down here and get a defensive stop. You know Dix is going to shoot the ball. Martin has it. Feeds inside to Reno. Reno with a nice job trying to get it over Davison. Lewis with the rebound. Dribbles it out. Taken away by both teams. Dix has it. Foul called. Intentional and that's foul. Going to be an intentional foul on Brown. Tough call for Antley. It's a good call, though, Dave. It's a good call. He pushed, it, he pushed him right in the back because he was frustrated because he wanted to get that ball up the floor. If we got the right angle, we will definitely see it on the replay. Martin is going to shoot. The foul. Martin hits the first one. He has six. Okay, there's a defense there. Now, okay, here comes your foul right there. See, you saw him push him, and he definitely pushed him out of bounds. So it was a good call made. Hanley needs to get some composure back here and take care of the ball. So Martin hits them both, and Cardinal Newman will have the ball. Here's another look. Again, there's your push right there. He pushed him right out of bounds. The official's right there to make that call. Martin drives, kicks it over to York. The ball's on the ground. York dives for it. One of the Tigers took it in the eye. I think it's Aubin who goes down on the floor. He's injured, and now the officials will take a timeout. What a battle these teams are putting on here in this Rose City Championship game. Yeah, this is this is quality high school basketball right here. This is two teams, two very good teams who are playing real strong. And I just saw, I just, I just saw you take a look at Aubin getting hurt there as he's going for the ball. I just saw Brown go over and shake hands with Martin for pushing him out of bounds. Brown at the other end. Lewis almost took the charge. The Tigers are going to pull it out right here and try to work on the clock. Martin with a pick. This can pull the Cardinals under 10. Foul. 55-45. Martin goes to the line. The Cardinals creeping back in this game with 2.20 to go. And these will be two very big free throws for Mark Martin and the Cardinals. Good steal by Martin coming from the backside. Nobody saw him. Nobody, nobody told him where he was going. He also got a good, that's a good, good hard foul by Boyd on the other end. Martin misses the first. Tigers need to screen out and get a rebound. Because you know the pressure is going to be coming. Make or miss, the pressure is coming. second one. The Cardinals quickly setting up full court pressure. Boyd being guarded by Lewis. Brewer now gets it across the timeline and the Tigers can work on the clock as we approach the two minute mark. That's where Davis it's got to go. Down low. Nice spin move. No good. Tip. No good. Blocked by Reno. Davison again. Got it. That's where it's got to go, Dave. Inside to Davison and let him finish this game off. 14 points for Davison. Dix at the other end. 
misses the jumper. Aubin with the rebound. 12-point lead for Annelie, and the clock in their favor. Martin going for the steal, tries to tie it up. It goes off York, Annelie's ball. There's a lot of contact get away out there. Cardinals want a timeout. And they take it here with 1.42 to go. 57-45, an exciting night of basketball here at the Rose City Tournament. And we'll be back with more in just a moment. My wedding day was fast approaching and there were so many details. I needed Nancy. First, we selected the perfect invitations and guest books from her huge selection. Nancy made it easy. Next, I tried on hats, veils, and accessories. Nancy even customized my hat and veil to my specifications. Nancy's Fancies has the most complete inventory of wedding supplies anywhere, including garters, toasting glasses, and hundreds of cake tops. My wedding was the most wonderful day of my life. Thanks, Nancy. on Feely talking things over with his young Cardinal squad and you can bet that we're going to see they've been putting up the threes for quite a while although they settled down the last couple minutes you're going to see they're going to have to start fouling they're going to have to start putting up the threes right here in the, in the last minute and 42. Well real important that you find out where Dix is and Martin because Martin's been pulling up the three as well and you got to move the ball because they're probably going to double team and, and try to foul you and get that clock stopped. Boyd is fouled by Dix. It'll be interesting to see who they try and foul. So far, Aubin is 0 for 2 from the line. Everybody else has done a real good job. Davison's 2 for 3 from the line. No one else has missed a free throw for Annalee. Yeah, it'll be Aubin, but when it gets closer to the bonus, Coach Wilson will probably get him out of there. Brewer dribbling in the backcourt. Double teamed, gets it to Boyd. Boyd gets it across the timeline. Brown with a jumper, fouled by Lewis. Two big free throws coming up. Brown's over on the sideline getting instructions from Coach Wilson. He will definitely be the one who has to stick with Dix. All net on the first one. He has nine. He had eight in the first half. That's his first point here in the second half of play. Just 1.24 to go. Annally looking for their first ever Rose City Championship. Brown with two clutch free throws. And it's a 14-point Annally lead. Okay, here's where you got to contain. Got to be smart and not foul. Dix has his shot rejected by Brown. Brown loses it out of bounds. Great hustle by Brendan Brown. Yeah, he's been he's done a good job tonight. Although Dix has gotten his points, you're not going to shut him down totally, but he's done a good job tonight. As, as Martin takes another long three, he's taken that long three twice tonight, and he has not gotten it yet. Tigers are starting to sense it now with a minute and 10 to go. Up by 14. Martin tips it. It will stay with Annalee. Got to be careful. They're going to be trying to foul. Ball still on the floor. Lewis fouls Boyd from behind. And Boyd will go back to the line. Boyd's two of two front for the night. He has 18 points in tonight's game. That was the second personal on Rashard Lewis. Now, right now, I wouldn't put anybody on the line for Hanley. I'd, I'd take them back. But Coach Wilson's got them up there, and they've got to be able to sprint back. There you see Gabe Boyd hits another free throw, knocking them down. The Hanley Tigers. It looks like they are going to pull it off. Coach Wilson right there. The SCL figures to be in outstanding race this year with Sonoma Strong and Annalee Strong. A couple other teams that should figure big in that one. Hillsburg's going to be a tough team to contend with. Petaluma. And that should be a very exciting race. The NBL is also very balanced this year. We're, we're ahead for a good season. There's going to be a lot of exciting action here all the way around. 
Coach Von Fiedler looks like he's given up. He's putting in his substitute as a timeout. is called with 50 seconds. The Tigers are going to win this thing. 61-45. Just 50 seconds left. The teams will get some subs into the game. And we'll take one last break and be back with the conclusion of tonight's game after this. Here's what regular customers are saying about the new Valley Fast Oil and Lube on Piner Road. No fighting traffic downtown or in Cottingtown. It's great. No high pressure sales at all. And I, I really like that because I have been to other companies where they're trying to pressure me to buy things that I don't need. In our business, we have a fleet of trucks that we depend on. When it comes to oil changes, we go to Valley Fast Oil. Valley Fast Oil and Lube. Fast, fair, and easy. bench. There's been some great performances there tonight. Boyd's played solid. Brown, Brewer, all the way around. But Bennett Davidson with a triple-double. That's not something you see very often at the high school level. The, T, the TD, as Clark Kellogg would call it. The touchdown. Ten blocks, 16 points, and ten rebounds for the triple-double. Dix at the line for Newman. Misses the first one. I'll tell you, Anytime, anytime uh, that you can, you, you can beat Cardinal Newman with the success that they had, your program, you're happy. As Dix is going to come out of the ball game, he's, he's done a great job tonight. Anytime you can beat Cardinal Newman on any level is, is a great accomplishment for your team. This will be a great win for the parents of Anley, for the coaching staff. Coach Wilson to get his, in his first year getting a big win like this. And he's going to empty his bench now. Phil Nichols is going to come in, number 22, Wallace, 31, Josh Carlson, number 20, Kilbride. These kids are, those kids are all juniors except for Wallace. He's a senior who was cut last year, didn't make the team, came back out and was successful in making the ball club this season. This is a credit to these seniors that are on this team. As, as freshmen, they were 17-1, and one, didn't get a chance to play against Carl Newman because they weren't on the schedule. But they've done a good job tonight. And, and you speak about Davidson. As a freshman, Davidson had trouble with grades and, and, and had to end up quitting the freshman team. And he got so much better last year. You can see it coming along. And then over the summer, he has really improved his game. And as he goes, so goes the Tigers. Eugene Patterson with a drive to the lane. No good. Rebound by Phil Nichols. Kicked out now to Jeff Wallace. Wallace with a three. Has the entire Annaly bench up off their feet. Rooting for those subs. Subs are the guys that really help the starters. They're the guys that have to be the scout squad in practice. And uh, it's nice to see these guys get a chance to finish up a ball game. Yeah, you've got, you've got four juniors and a senior out there right now. Sorry, there are two seniors out there. So really clear in his bench. is fouled down low by Justin Kilbride up the and Patterson will go to the line. point lead. It's all academic at this point. The Tigers will run out the clock here and take home the Rose City Championship. And that'll do it. Boy, that's a big win. You know, we talked to Coach Von Feely at a football game one night, and he was sitting there. You see him. <laughs> Look at those guys. That's Zach Hagen right there. He's a football player basketball player who was injured early in the year but he's going to be around for a good while there's coach Roger Wilson this is this is the biggest win for him so far 
and his, as he's just now starting to get back into coaching, he's in coaching for a little while, was out of it, then got the only job back last year, and, and he has definitely brought this team to another level as they pull off this victory, and this is a big one for the program, and I'm sure they'll save it for a long time. As I was saying, Coach Buffili told us that Anley was going to be one of the better teams around, and you know, when he says something like that, you know, you know his teams are going to be good, and you sort of say, hey, well, Coach, you know, we know that, but what, you know, what, what are you saying? And good defense, everybody was on the board, Fitzpatrick was in there, there crawling around all over the floor. Bennett Davidson was up flying around. So they've done an excellent job here tonight. So a big, big win for the Annalee Tigers as they, they pull off a 14 point victory Woo! to take home the 1993 Rose City Tournament Championship. Home improvement experts in every department. Have you shopped Friedman Brothers lately? We've got a bold new look, featuring, yes, even more choices, lower prices, and a host of changes you've been asking for. Like our new kitchen and bath design center, featuring the best selection in the North Bay, giving you what you want. That's Friedman Brothers. No matter what the race or distance, she always ran out in front. And for Julia Stamps, our Cable One Spring Sports Athlete of the Season, the future may even bring Olympic prominence. She recently won the high school national championship in the 3,200 meters. And with a long list of records and accomplishments, she may be the best athlete in Redwood Empire history. We're honored to have watched her grow as an athlete and as a person. Good luck at Stanford, Julia. We'll be cheering you all the way home. I'm down on the floor with tonight's player of the game, the big man from Annalee, Bennett Davison. Bennett, congratulations. Fantastic game. You know, with a triple-double, has to feel great. Yeah, it does. It's, but I couldn't have done it with my team, without my team. You guys really worked hard tonight on the defensive end. You ended up with 10 blocks yourself, 10 rebounds. Tell us about what was happening down low to enable you to get that many blocks. Well, I decided to stay down instead of just jumping for the ball, because if you jump, you usually just end up with the, getting the foul. You guys... Uh, lost to Cardinal Newman in the championship game a year ago. Was that a little, little bit of motivation coming in tonight? Were you guys talking about that locker room? Yeah, yeah we were kind of nervous. Get, to get the butterflies out. And um, we were just talking about just getting them back, back and just saying how to work it out. So we can end up I think one of the key points in the game was Cardinal Luma was making a little bit of run in the, the third quarter. They had pulled down within, I think, nine. And you came down at this end of the floor, blocked a couple, couple shots, then slammed at the other end. Why don't you tell us about that sequence and what that meant to your team? Well, it's just a motivational get up and go and just get us, gets us, the crowds pumped into, into it and, and just. So you ended up finishing up with a slam. That has to be a lot of fun, being able to get up and uh, throw them down like that. And, and uh, I think that really turned the tide for you guys. Yeah, I think so too, but I could have done it without my team. All right, Bennett. Well, congratulations on the win tonight. Uh, you guys played a great game. First ever Rose City Championship. Good luck in the SCL this year. Hope to see you again soon. Thanks a lot.
Great win tonight for Anthony Anthony, and uh, that guy, one of the most impressive uh, performances by a big man we've seen here on the Game of the Week. Yeah, he, he's obviously improved his game from, from last year to this year. He's not jumping when he doesn't have to jump, and he's doing a good job with his turnaround jump shot and going to the hole real strong on the dunk, We're trying to get him to do that for a long time, and he's finally done it. He did a good job tonight. This is really going to have to set the tone for some teams in the SEL to take notice of the Anley Tigers. Yeah, especially uh, Sonoma, because Sonoma has a big guy and Mr. Douglas over there. So it's going to be a battle all throughout, and hopefully Anley can sustain what they've done tonight and do a good job when Lee comes around. Cardinal Newman being a young team, they, uh, they made some mistakes tonight. Um, you, can, you can imagine that Coach Bonfili will, will get this team together, and they'll be a factor in the NBL. Oh, yeah. You know, Carla Newman's not going anywhere. They're, they're going to come right back and get after it. I, I think Dix is a little out of shape, you know, he, to, for what he has to do because he has to be the workhorse. It looks like he was a little tired tonight, so I look for him to get him in shape, and they, they'll be back. They'll be ready. They haven't, nothing's happened to him. They'll be right around with these youngsters. So the Annaly Tigers pull off their first ever Rose City Tournament Championship here tonight with a big win over Cardinal Newman. And we'll see you next time on the Game of the Week. I'm Dave Cox for Anthony Robinson saying goodnight and thanks for watching.